everyone and welcome back to Coco's World. Today I have a really fun video. I'm going to be trying 10 peel off face masks. But before we start, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to be taking over Disney Channel this week. You can watch me every day after school at 4.30pm. Make sure you guys tag me on your Instagram story and comment if you catch me on the Vlogger Takeover. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. So, I've got 10 face masks to try out. Some of them are my sister's and they are, are really expensive. Some of them are really cheap. So I'm going to try them all on and rate them all out of five on smell, peelability, and how it makes my skin feel afterwards. Hopefully this will give you guys some satisfaction if you love peeling like me. The first mask is this tea tree and witch hazel from Boots, which is three pounds 50. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, this is satisfying. This is like a sunburn. And the way it's clear makes you look like it's peeling off your skin. Oh my God, yes. Okay, so the verdict on this one is I think it's about a four out of five on the smell. I mean, it smelled really nice. It was like really minty. On the pill factor, I think, oh, maybe like a two and a half, just because it was breaking a lot and it didn't dry too quickly as well. How it made my skin feel after, I would literally give it a one. It doesn't feel any different. The next mask is this Soap and Glory Water Peeling for four pounds. And for four pounds, it comes with two. So I think that's quite a good deal. So let's put this onto my face. Ooh, it's bright pink. So I've let it dry, it's making my face really tight, so let's peel this off. So I've peeled everything I can off and I do have a lot of excess but that's because I put everything in the tub onto my face but because I do have a small child's face and not an adult face I think it was a bit too much. So I've just washed it off so now let's do the ratings. For the smell I would give it a 5 out of 5. This smelt so nice. For peelability, the bits that did peel off were so nice, but I did put too much on. So the bits that I did peel, I give them a 4 out of 5. For how my skin feels after, it feels so soft. Like, I, even I'm looking at my blackheads and there seems to be like not as many as there was before. I'd give how my skin feels after a 5 out of 5. My skin hasn't felt this soft for a long, long time. <laughs> so next, because I realise this is taking a long time to put on and dry, I'm going to be doing half my face one face mask and the other half another face mask. So first I'm going to be using these two pink glitter face masks. This one is only £3 from Primark. And this one is my sister's from Glam Glow and it's My Little Pony. And this is £42. I've never known anything being £42. So let's see if we can tell a difference. Oh, <gasps> yes. So guys, this one's actually got holographic stars in it. So I've got the Primark side, so now I'm going to put on the Glam Glow side. <laughs> That's literally slime. I've abandoned the spatula technique. So now I am ready to peel. So the Primark one, it smelled really nice. So I'm gonna give that a four out of five. The peel, Oh my gosh, five out of five Primark. It literally came off all in one pull. My skin just feel quite soft, so let's give that a three out of five. Now let's do the glam go. So 
So as you can see, the Glam Glow has left a lot of residue, so I'm just going to go and wash it off. So I've just washed it off, so I think for the smell, I'd give it a three. It did smell nice, but it was very artificial, and I was a bit like, woo! For the peel, I'd give it a three, because it did leave a lot of residue, but it, the bits that did peel, peeled nicely. And it left my skin kind of the same, really. So I'm going to give that a 2. The Primark one has made my skin feel very, very soft. I can't believe that I preferred the £3 one to the £42 one. So next I've got a Rose Gold Glam Combo. This is Quick Fix Facials and this is £5. This is Origins and this is my mum's for £20. So let's Rose Gold it up. These two have been the fastest to dry out of all of them so far, so let's peel them. Origins, not a very good peel, it took me ages. Now let's see if this one can do any better. I need to wash the rest off. The oranges, the oranges, for, I can't say oranges, the origins for smell was a three. I didn't really smell anything, but it didn't smell bad, so that's good. It didn't really peel, it was just breaking off, so I'd give peel like a two. And it made my skin feel quite soft, so I'm gonna give that a four. Quick fix facials. This smell was really good. I'm gonna give this smell a five out of five. I love the smell, it was really orangey. I love this smell. But when it was on my face, it was literally stinging. I was like, oh my God, I need to take this off. So peeling, I'd give it a zero out of five because when I was peeling it, it was literally hurting my skin so much. It made my skin feel the same, but it is very red. So I'm gonna give this a one for how my skin felt after. So I'm going to be doing another combination. I'm going to be doing Pixie's T-Zone Peel Off Mask. And this is 18 pounds. And I'm just going to be doing a one pound sachet from Boots. And this is Pink Lemonade. So since this is T-Zone, I'm going to be putting it on my forehead, nose and chin. And I'm going to be putting the sachet on my cheeks. Oh my God, it's metallic. Oh, yes, queen. Oh wow. Well, it's so annoying because that was actually the best peel, but it hurt. So for the sachet, for the smell, I'd give it a five out of five. It's pink lemonade. I absolutely love the smell. The peel was so great. I literally came off all in one but it hurt a lot. So I'm gonna give it a 3.5. And my skin feels really soft after. I really like the sachets, they're only a pound, but they're really, really good. The Pixie for smell, I'd give it a three because you can't, you couldn't really smell it, but it didn't smell bad. I'd give the peel a four out of five. It was so good and so satisfying. And for how my skin feels after, my nose, like everything, feels so soft. My skin feels five out of five. Apparently it lifts out all the oil and it's never felt this nice. For the final combo, I'm using two black charcoal face masks. This is Garnier Pure Active Anti-Blackhead and this is five pounds. And this is Radial Snake Mask for 50 pounds. This is my sister's. 
Is she crazy? So let's put them to the test. I'm bored. Ooh, good peel, guys. Oh, ooh. Whoa, my skin feels so soft. Enough of the Garnier. No, don't you dare. I'm not. What do you you're mean? gonna pet it. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Shush. Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I <think> give up. <sighs> so, Rodeo for smell, I'd give it a two. It smells quite toxic. It was making my eyes water a little bit. The peel was really good and really satisfying. It did hurt a little bit, but I do think that that's just because my skin's quite sensitive now. So for peelability, I'd give it a three out of five, and it made my skin feel so soft. So skin feel, a five out of five. And now we move on to the Garnier side. The smell was okay, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Now for the peel. Oh, a negative 10. That was so painful. I was literally screaming. Look, that is so red. I would consider using it for your T poses, but for the whole of your face, don't. Trust me. I think it's because it really goes into your pores, so it got into all my hairs on my face. For peelability, I'd give it a zero. And it made my skin feel so hot, and it's so bumpy and it just doesn't feel nice once again i'm gonna give it a zero so guys that's the end of the video and i hella need some moisturizer thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye painfully skin sachet oh.